Yo, what's poppin' everybody? Sam here. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about camera gear as far as what's in my bag and what I keep in there on a regular day basis. Um, but before that, I am thirsty and I need a drink. No, I cannot sing, but I'm passionate about my drink. Random question for you. You ever have problems buying jeans that fit properly? I decided to take some back that I just bought. They're ridiculous. Like I'm 5'7 and I mean, I got big thighs and I like a taper on my jeans, but oh my gosh, it is like impossible to find jeans that fit nice around the thighs and the waist, but still taper around my ankle. It's like either they're skinny jeans that just can't even go over my thighs or they're just way too like bell bottoms. Anyways, random, random thought, but yeah, it's something that's been bothering me. You're quite dirty, so we are going to clean you off a little bit here. A little better? Teeth clean? I think we're good. What's in my bag? Well, it varies, okay? Just like it, sure it varies for you too. The things that I'm gonna show you that are in my bag today are gonna be primarily for music videos just because that's what's been prevalent for me right now. So we'll get into that now. So the first thing we'll go over is cameras. Right now I use the A7S III as my primary camera for all video. I'm actually using it right now, so I'm not gonna take it off to show you. But uh, yeah, that's my primary camera. Secondary camera is, if I can get it here, is my A7S III, trusted A7S III. Okay, I had to pause this for a minute. I'm in the middle of editing and I realized that I keep mixing up the A7 III and the A7S III. So my apologies, it happened in the last video like two or three times. I'm not just getting into the edit now. Hopefully it's not that much more, but yeah, my bad. I've got the um, Alpha Guard skin on it, the snow camo, camo with the baby blue shutter and off-white, as you can see the off-white band, cause this is my primary photo camera, but I'm going to start propping it up on a tripod and getting some angles of me working on these shoots so I can at least have something to show you guys. A camera is the A7S III, B camera is the A7 III. Now, let's get into lenses. My widest lens is a 17 to 28 Tamron 2.8 f-stop. I use that when I need that wide shot, that wide angle, basically when we're in a tighter space but there's more people involved or I'm trying to establish, establish the scene around. I wouldn't say it's my go-to lens, but if I had to use that or the 35 millimeter, I would probably use the 17 to 28 on a run and gun just so I don't have to switch it so much. It's an internal zoom, which is nice. It's sharp, it works fine for me. Second, which is the trusty 28 to 70 Sigma lens here, 2.8, beautiful lens. It's not an internal zoom, but whatever, that's okay. This is a good photography camera as well, or sorry, lens. I found myself using this quite a bit too. So like that 35 millimeter, meter prime is nice and it's got a lower f-stop like i said if you're running and gunning and you don't have anybody really helping you on set and stuff like that this is key because it goes 28 to 70 so i mean you can get a pretty wide angle shot and then you can also get those closer ups for the b-roll stuff like that stuff that you would normally maybe use an 85 millimeter for if you were really into primes yeah great lens this is one of my first lenses i believe the sigma costs about 1500 bucks something like that i think i got Got this one from the camera store here in Calgary. If I don't buy it online, I buy it from Viztech, but I think this was camera store. The Sigma, the 35 mil, 1.4, I believe it is. Yeah, the 1.4 DG art lens. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't worry guys, not COVID. So this is a great lens to have as a prime. When I'm using my A7S III, because it's so good with low light, even at the native ISO, I don't really need that 1.8 f-stop. A 2.8 is just fine. I've had no issues at all. So what I have here next is my DJI Ronin S. I have a side handle on it here. Sorry, I just hit my mic. I have a monitor mount on it on this side. Also have a low angle handle on the front. So when I'm using this per se, let's like 
this. I can shoot this way. Sorry, this is flopping around. That's the thing, that's the good thing with the newest S model, is that these all lock. That's a nice thing to have for the extra money, maybe not. It's definitely a good stabilizer. I did have the Ronin M. I found like, it just wasn't updated properly. The firmware was whack. The batteries would barely charge, some lost charge. I got rid of it. I got this because I knew that this would stand up better in the long run. I love the look, this handle here because nobody wants to hold like this all the time. It can be top heavy. Sorry for that bang noise. You can hold here two points of contact with a little bit more of a wide grip for some more stability. When I drop it down low and I'm getting those shots as well as my Ninja 5 will go here and it's a nice setup. Then I have my Ninja 5 monitor here. This is by Atomos. Good monitor. I haven't had no issues with it. You got your battery here you can also put a dummy dummy battery in and hook it up to a v-mount something like that this takes the hold on i gotta go remember what this is the nwf 970 you throw this in there you power your baby up you've got mic and line you've got headphone and you've got remote control as well as your full size hdmi in and out so nice monitor here I'm trying to focus on my face I use this more as just a monitor. For 800 bucks, just a monitor, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd think of maybe budgeting and going for one of the feel wor worlds, the feel worlds or something on Amazon, maybe a small HD. But I do plan to shoot in external with this a little bit more and experiment as I go along. But um, that's the journey, right? We're just a little bit here, a little bit there, figure it out as we go. A uh, couple lights I'm gonna show you here quickly. As you get to know me, you'll realize that I really do like Newer. Newer's a dope company. They have budget friendly stuff. And honestly, I have had no issue with any of their products yet. These are what you would call the newer, I think they're a 460 panel light. They can run off of one or two of the F970 batteries here. These are RGB lights, so it's got the barn doors. You can take these off. They do have attachments for soft boxes. They're Bluetooth, so you can control the colors and the scenes from your phone. They are quite bright and yeah, I like them. One of the first lights that I got was one of these little pocket lights. This is the Falcon Eyes F7. Nice little light. Oof, blinded myself. This has got scenes on it too. This was quite pricey. This was like almost 200 bucks, which now you can get, you know, nan lights, I think, or some of these other small ones, even the little aperture panel lights or whatever you call these pocket lights. But I like this one. It's nice. It's got all types of hues. Lasts long. Got a little pouch for it. So I got one of those. I got two of the panel lights. And then I have a couple of these bad boys. I forget what brand this is, to be honest with you. But I will leave it in the description uh, these have got a few different colors a few different I think it's got one scene which is like police lights I think that's all you get they're nice though for little accent lights here and there they're not that big I think the actual light itself is maybe two no you're looking at like a foot and a half I keep a couple of these with me at all times on shoots because you can throw them in the back seat of a car or I put some um, magnets on the back like I said they're nice little accent lights this is the SL60 Godox that I'm using as my key light. I have the VL150 in its box. It's wireless, can be plugged in as well. The SL60 needs to be plugged in, but not the VL150. It's a nice key light. It's just a white light. It's not by color, but it's bright. It's nice. I enjoy it. I bring that with me too, just as my key light as needed. Here I've got a W King Bluetooth speaker. It is a dope speaker. It's loud as hell, I'll tell you that. I got it on Amazon for I think a hundred bucks. And yeah, that's basically it. I don't bring a tripod with me. Sometimes I'll just go and I'll shoot straight handheld with one lens. It depends on the budget of the music video and it also depends on what the music video is telling me to do. Or the, sorry, rather the song is telling me to do. I have a few C stands I bring as well. I have a little wagon that I just load it all up because I live in a condo. So I just stack it all in there, bring it to my truck head out. If I'm going somewhere that requires me to go to another condo or maybe a little bit further from the vehicle where I can't just work out of the vehicle, I'll load it from my truck onto the wagon, 
bring it where I need it. It works perfect. Work with what you have. Don't feel that you can't start doing music videos or vlogs or travel videos, whatever it is you wanna do, weddings, anything. Don't feel you need to have certain things or you may never start. You need a camera, that's what you need. You need a camera and a brain. You can figure out a way to get your first videos out there and do some great work with just that too. Be humble within yourself, be patient, it will all come and I guarantee you, you will have fun. Do not chase the gear, chase the passion that's burning inside, the desire and everything will come when it's time. I love you guys, thanks for watching this again. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it helps the channel out, it helps me out, it helps motivate me. I appreciate it. You know, this channel is in the infancy right now and we're just gonna keep building it, building it, building it, stay consistent. Even if it's just one video a week right now, I will stick to that and I'll honor that. And if there's anything that you guys can take from these videos and use in a positive way, then I've done my job. I appreciate the love and the support. Let me know something in the comments that you'd like to see, what you'd rather not see. Let me know what's in your bag. Stay true to yourself. Have a good weekend. Sam White, tuning out. We'll see you next time. Peace.